Hello, folks. Welcome to Friday Night Conversations, where we talk about interesting things with interesting people. Today, I'm going to make a phone call to a lady that is the daughter of Arthur Smith. He was murdered in 1979 in Marion, well, Belk Fountain, Ohio. Uh, and his murderer or murderers really have not been found because a man was framed for the murder and he is now in prison. So we're going to be hearing from Sheila Lyle. She is a daughter of Arthur Smith and she's going to be telling her story about what really happened uh, the day her father went missing and how his body was found and how everything played out. Uh, she's a very sweet lady and I thank her for coming on and I want to be calling her momentarily and we will find out from her. And it's interesting that she is the daughter of the victim as I said but she and her siblings have always maintained that George Skates who was framed for the murder is not guilty of that charge. He was not guilty. He is not guilty of that charge. He did not murder uh, her dad, Arthur Smith, and she was going to tell us all about that. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a call and put her on speaker so we can talk to her. Hello, Sheila. This is Steve Holder. I promised I would call you today. How are you? Oh, um, well, I didn't get a lot of sleep, but I hope I don't lose my train of thought too much. Uh, it's my day that I do, maybe you can help me. <laughs> okay, well, I won't keep you long. Uh, I do appreciate you talking to me yesterday and today. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm glad you called me. Uh, I, uh, I talk to anyone and I have all these years that shows an interest, you know, in the case. Uh, it, it, I would particularly, I do better if you um, ask me questions. Are there certain okay. things you would want to uh, talk about uh, right now? Um, okay. Uh, I do want to go ahead and tell you that we are being recorded and you said that's okay with you, right? So I Put this on my podcast. Uh-huh. Okay, just want to make sure we're okay with that. So, okay. I know your father was murdered in 1979, correct? Uh, yes, October 12th. Okay. And can you tell us what your father did on that day and how he got killed that day and the things that transpired on that day and afterwards, would you tell us that, please? Uh, I'm trying to understand what you said. Okay, um, what happened on the day your father was murdered? Uh, how he was murdered? Yes, ma'am, and what led up to that? Uh, uh, different events that you mean that, uh, before this, that the day before, or uh, no, ma'am, the day that he was murdered, uh, he went home after work that night. Is that correct? Well, we, that's the way everything we knew supported that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There was no proof that no murder had been Everything 
indicates to us that he did go home uh, because of the way he took off his shoes. We would be there, uh, uh, he would be tired, and he would reach down and untie one shoe and take it off, and then he would take his foot and just pull the other off without untying it. And that's how the shoes were found. Uh, they showed me a photograph of that beside his body when it was found. And the autopsy also um, uh, reveals uh, that there was uh, a gravy-like substance in his uh, stomach and pieces of um, like bratwurst or frankfurters or something. Uh, uh, he went hours without eating lots of times, and he had that night, I was told. So he, uh, that food was still in his stomach, undigested. Uh, um, let's see, there's um, uh, other things uh, that indicated he went home. His glasses were never found. His tie was never found. Um, and, um, so we pretty much, um, uh, uh, everything indicated that he did go home. Yeah. What happened there? Uh, you know, that's, um, uh, that's uh, never been established, really. Uh, there, there was a lot of things going on in the store and with him uh, at the time. Um, so it, it, it's hard to tell. Um, what 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 brought this on? Uh, uh, what made it come to head? Uh, um, yeah, there was some talk talk about uh, his stepdaughter Kathy and having some dealings with some bad characters that may have had something to do with it. Uh, yes, Kathy was a prime suspect. She was supposed to come. Uh, she came home from Bowling Green College uh, late that afternoon, and there was something going on with her, and he wanted to talk to her about it. And but she never, sh and he told her she could have the keys to the Volkswagen um, uh, that night for for a, a football game and homecoming, I think it was. Uh, and, but she never came and, and, and picked it up. Now, when he disappeared, uh, there, were, there was paperwork on the chief of police uh, his desk uh, on Kathy about small bad checks that she, uh, checks that she had cashed of her fair checks her mother had gotten. They, they uh, I guess, were not getting along about something kind of, and, and why she done it, I don't know, but her mother had uh, uh, wanted uh, uh, push that to record it and find out who uh, cashed those checks. And uh, when he found that, was told that the um, police department, um, that Kathy had uh, 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 cashed them because she was working. It was easy for her to have it done because she was working part time at Rinks that summer. Uh, and um, uh, they asked Dad what he wanted to do, and he said he wanted to uh, uh, prosecute her, uh, you know. Uh, so I don't know whether that caused a problem. Uh, uh, there were there were um, a lot of stealing and a lot of drugs problems in in the store, and 
he was working on those problems, there were uh, brand new rifles disappearing. Um, and and um, uh, there was a drugstore also in Rinks that had really nothing to do with Rinks. It was a separate business. Did, did you say the drugstore? Yeah, the, didn't the drugstore have some great, kind of shady deal? Gray Drugs was, not, uh, was separate from Rinks. Yeah. But they had turned the books over to the And is it true that uh, his wife at that time, Mary Ann, was having an affair with one of the police officers? Oh, well, well, we didn't know anything about that until yeah. we got the anonymous letter after a short, real short time after the trial. Um, uh, in fact, the prosecutor talked, uh, questioned my husband separately. And then he called me and at another time and questioned me. And one of his questions was, do you think your father might have been um, involved in something with someone else? And I said, no, I'd really be shocked. Uh, he, 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 he was a workaholic. He, he was a, a family man. Uh, uh, I'd never known anything like that out of my father, and and they, he said then said, do you think Mary Ann was involved with someone just like that? And I said, no, I don't. If, if she was, I know nothing about it. Um, I said if I did, I'd been in here a long time ago telling you about it. Yeah. So how did that come out? That, or, I mean, who first stated that she had that affair, or was it proven? Well, well uh, yes, uh, as far as uh, uh, the, the police uh, it came from police department, different ones, that uh, they knew that he was uh, always stopping in downtown at that little jean and shirt store that my dad had open but he opened it in Mary Ann's name so it wouldn't be a conflict of interest with Frank. Yeah. And and it was right downtown, uh, right across uh, the street from uh, the citizens of uh, federal savings and loan. Um, and and it, it, it was said that um, uh, many times uh, 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 after uh, uh, all this happened, uh, 
evening. And so she said, and, and, uh, she got up Saturday morning after she notified uh, uh, that the store, that he hadn't come home, that the store had to be open, uh, the first person they sent to the store from the police department was the person she was supposed to be involved with. Um, and, and, and she went to Citizens Federal when they opened and, and I've got that in black and white on a piece of paper, and that's documented. Uh, she drew out all the money, all the, a small amount of money out of the savings they had. And um, uh, we, we heard uh, uh, that they had uh, uh, found that out when uh, the first few days my dad was missing, but uh, uh, that was kept quiet, uh, that was never mentioned to us, or told to us, we found out on the fly, you know, um, from one of the officers, and uh, my dad had worked a form job in Liberia, West Africa, a railroad job, and he had uh, money which back in however much he had was probably amounted to a lot of money in 1979, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, she drew that money out of that account, and then she went to another bank where they had the checking account and drew out whatever was in there but a small amount. Now, if your husband's missing, what reason would you have to go into the account the very next morning. Uh, um, yeah, it all looks kind of shady, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it should be a red flag. Yeah. Now, my father, even, I can't tell you the time period anymore, but he, they had went uh, a year or so before this happened. Uh, or a little more, uh, her mother was still living in Germany and she was from Germany. She married a serviceman, her first husband, and came to the States. Well, uh, you don't take uh, 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 your wife and three kids to Germany for two or three weeks unless you have some money, because I'm sure that is expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I'm um, sure. Uh, and he was also driving an old model Chrysler. He wanted to, um, he, told, he told us more than once they were looking for a new vehicle. And when they decided what they wanted, he was going to take cash. And he also said he was either looking for a piece of ground to build on when he retired in a couple of years, or a few years, or... Um, or, uh, or uh, to build a lot to build on, and, and you know, and he was going to pay. He said he was going to pay cash. Uh, you don't do that if you don't have money, right? But she hid that and didn't tell her lawyer when when she settled the estate about the paperwork on it from the courthouse. Um, um, no. Uh, was it uh, several? And, 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 and Marianne also, I didn't mean to interrupt you, didn't want to forget. Marianne also, the, the home was a small one that they had uh, moved to, one of the smaller home instead of the larger one like they had, had when he was uh, living up here before. And, and it was, had a one car garage. And they had a long chest freezer against the back wall. Um, and and uh, uh, they had so much stuff in the garage on the side that they couldn't park this large Chrysler. But he disappeared late Friday night. By Sunday night, she was parking that car in that garage against the freezer. Now, that seemed odd, uh, especially when law enforcement uh, came up with a scenario of uh, why he couldn't have been out there, the condition of his body, uh, 
for a freezer. So it was nine days yeah, before his body then, was discovered. Pardon? It was nine days before his body was discovered. Yes. Okay. Yes, and he was not out there the whole time. The autopsy proves that. The the inside of his body didn't show that. Yeah. In, uh, decomposition, and the only way you could stop that is by freezing some, putting someone in a freezer. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all these things seem more than coincidence. Yeah. Um, and and uh, um, about 15 years ago or more, two FBI men came here and talked to us because of George Gates being on death row and, and uh, uh, Lucasville, uh, where he was at it, at that time. Uh, they wanted, uh, they got fascinated when they looked up what he had been uh, put in prison for. It was a case, and they came to talk to us. And when, after my husband explained this, uh, what we thought happened, um, and and we discussed an anonymous letter that, that they drew by handwriting experts that so was, um, uh, who wrote it and, and told us uh, uh, it they, they, when we were all done they said there is no way that we have talked to num numerous people over the years and on a lot of cases but this case is really different and there is no way that you as a family could have made all this stuff up in sequence and and it fit and it makes sense um that that just can't be done yeah. in other words they they believed our scenario uh, so how is it exactly that George was framed for this? How did all that happen? What I didn't understand the question. I couldn't hear. How, how did it happen that George Skates became involved in this investigation? And how did they put him, make him the guilty that, party? That was because uh, I, I, I would say that it, it, it was put together and, and it had to be put in uh, Jimmy Rogers' uh, mind, uh, you know. Uh, he, he was kind of a, a professional snitch. He'd done it many times. Uh, he knew how to work the system to get his best deals. Um, uh, they had known each other for years, but Mary and General, or uh, Mary and General, uh, uh, Mary in Ohio, they had authorities uh, wanted to, to get George put away for quite a while, and and um, uh, uh, the prosecutor up here was looking at a way to solve the case at the time because he was getting a lot of pressure over it, yeah. and. And he wanted to get a big feather in his cap if he wanted to go on on a higher politically. And uh, that's, uh, I think the idea was put, and it was all put together uh, uh, deliberately, uh, deliberate uh, frame job on, on George Wesley Skates. Um, he wasn't a violent person, anything that, I'm not saying he didn't ever do anything he shouldn't, and I know things that he has uh, done, he has never been arrested for anything other than when he was young, um, stealing cars and joyriding, um, uh, uh, just small things, um, he, he got involved in, um, he, um, a forgery and passing bad checks, but that's a long ways from being violent and, and murdering somebody. Um, Jimmy Rogers, on the other hand, is a, can be a violent person. He's done more than one robbery at gunpoint. 
Uh, he was dating Kathy also, correct, Jimmy Rogers? Uh, I'm not. I, I, she, I never heard that said in any of the prosecutor's notes or stuff, but okay. uh, she knew him. Uh, okay. and, and she was messing with drugs. Uh, uh, I know they were having, uh, the only thing my dad or Marianne would say uh, came from dad, I think, uh, we're ha having a little trouble, you know, uh, with Kathy. Um, you know, like all, uh, uh, she, at that time she was probably a, a senior. When this happened, she had already graduated, you know, and was at ball. Uh, had put in her first uh, few weeks at Bowling Green College. Uh, uh, now, did she have a police record at the time? Oh no, no. Uh -uh. She she was she looked like a, the sweet little girl uh, next door. Okay. You know. Um, uh, I, I never got close to her because she just, uh, neither uh, uh, Kathy or her younger brother, uh, uh, they, I, I mean, I was an old, I was, uh, when this happened, I was 37. Um, uh, she was a teenager. But there, I, I just never had, it was just, hi, how are you? Uh, I'm, uh, see, ya, I gotta do this or that. And she just come in, go to her room or leave, uh, and to go do something. I didn't have any kind of relationship or get to know her at all. Yeah. And they've been married nine years. Uh, that, uh, um, that's quite a while. They, they were just heard her brother in grade school when, uh, they got married. Uh, and was Mary Ann a lot younger than your dad? Yes. Uh, Mary Ann is, um, uh, I think, about seven years older than I am. Okay. And I, I'm 81. Um, so she would have been around 44 at the time. Uh, uh, I'd have to do my math here. Okay. I can't think that quick. <laughs> okay. And how old was your dad when he was murdered? Uh, he was 57 when this 57. happened. Okay. Um, uh, when this happened, I, real, I realized I was, uh, I might have been 37 years old, but I was a daddy's girl. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I still am, and I'm still uh, uh, trying to get justice for him. And I, I would like to believe that there are some honest people in this world, and 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 that justice does uh, um, uh, uh, well out uh, yeah. in the long run. Um, and that's why I wanted to talk to you because I wanted to help any small way I can to get the truth out there and hopefully I don't know if it has anything at all to do with getting justice for you know some kind of closure for your family and you know and that would be great that's what I would like to do I would like to just help you all find some kind of peace about it knowing that the real killers were called uh -huh. well it, it also want um uh, justice for George Wesley Gates. Exactly, uh, exactly. Can you imagine being in prison? And it, it worked the first time, so they used pretty much the same uh, way to, to put him on death row uh, yeah. with his Lucas Bell. Is it uh, fair to say that his reputation kind of made him a uh, easy target is that fair to say that oh, oh yeah oh yes uh, okay. and the prosecutor found uh he said i don't even know when that picture was taken he found the roughest picture that he could find and he would run my dad's picture over here and and his over here and he looked like a uh, like like a rough rough person yeah and and um uh, he, he tried it in the press. I mean, um, he constantly, uh, 
way was putting stuff out there. He even went to the length of, of saying uh, George was uh, hiding out uh, and uh, for a period of about two months before um, he, he turned himself in. Um, um, he didn't really turn himself in. He accidentally shot himself in the arm. Uh, uh, but that kept him from being killed because uh, the prosecutor put out there that, that he claimed he'd never be taken alive. Uh, that's not true. But he put all this out there making people believe that because they sent a SWAT team like at one time, I don't know how many uh, people surrounded his property, his place, and, and uh, trying to find him. And, and they had been, we had been hearing uh, rumors here uh, uh, for a short time that the plan was they had been given orders uh, uh, if, they, if they found him to shoot to kill because he was really, uh, he was armed and he was dangerous. Yeah. So he ran when he found out they were looking for him? Is that what happened? Uh, he evaded them. Yeah. Why did he do that? Was he just scared of being arrested or what? Uh, he's in a state of confusion, I would say. Yeah. He, he had heard rumors that uh, they were going to come after him and they were uh, uh, on some serious charges. Somebody tipped him, but he had no idea what they were talking about. Um, because he had been in jail before, but was he on parole or probation or anything at that time? I know that he had done some jail time before. Was he on probation or parole or anything at this time? No, no. no. He had been out uh, for a period, I understand, a, a good seven years. Okay. He had, um, uh, had been uh, trying to, you know, he'd be going straight, um, uh, trying to get his uh, life together. He uh, and his wife had a little boy, and he was, when he, at the time, when when he was arrested for this, his son was uh, five years old. Um, uh, and, and my father's son was, um, I think, eight years old. Yeah. And and um, if I've got it right, um, and there's two two families, two little boys. Um, that um, grew up without their father. Uh, both in any tragedy or any in, in any murder case, uh, there's there's two families uh, um, that suffer. Yeah. In, in different ways. Yeah. Um, in little different ways. Uh, yeah, I, I've always felt sorry for. So do you feel like there's any chance at all that George could be uh, released off of death row anyway? Do you think there's any possibility of that? Uh, I, I, well, they, they don't 
don't want, uh, it's plain to see they don't want uh, anything to us to get anywhere with my father's case because that would open the door for Lucasville. Yeah. And, and they, they sure don't want the truth coming out about Lucasville. I can't even talk. Yeah, the, the Lucasville yeah. riot happened in 1993, correct? Uh-huh. I think so. Yeah. Uh, and George was accused of killing a couple on, of people. Uh, on that, on that, uh, 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 in, uh, I guess, that uh, uh, Lucasville riot, uh, I, I can't quote it. The prison I'm riot, not, yeah. I, it's part of the Lucasville Five, is the way they call it. Yeah. Uh, but he he done a lot of things to uh, uh, kept uh, people with him uh, and kept them from uh, being beat up more, or killed, or he got one man out uh, uh, at his own risk um, on a stretcher, and, and they. Uh, took him out of the prison yard by helicopter, uh, and I think he lived. Um, he uh, became spokesman. See, I knew an investigator from Marion that had knew him for years, and, and uh, 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 she had told me a lot of things also, and uh, uh, he, he, um, they asked him to, to uh, talk, and, and none of the other inmates would do it um, uh, to try to help the situation that was going on. And he, uh, to my understanding, uh, he has said uh, he he helped. Uh, um, he explained to the blacks and the whites they had to unite. And they were all going to die because they were going to blow the wall in and come in uh, yeah. and just uh, shoot them all. Uh, and there were three gangs involved: the uh, see the Black Disciples, I think, and the Muslims and Aryan Brotherhood. Is that correct? Yeah, and he's not a member of that. They they play that stuff up, and yeah. uh, 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 he he had been in there. He was a, a long. A, He had been a prisoner for a long time, hadn't he? Uh, yes, and he, he had respect, you know. Yeah. Uh, you have to earn that in the prison system. Right. Uh, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he feels that, you know, uh, you don't, don't mess with me and I, I won't mess with you, yeah. you know. Yeah. He sticks to himself because he's already been snitched on. Um, uh, you, in a prison system, you uh, uh, you talk to anybody at all. There's there's people in there constantly uh, trying to get something to help their own situation. You know. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, and and um, Jimmy Rogers is real good at working the system for himself. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to make a point. Um, uh, Jimmy Rogers um, was uh, convicted and doing a life sentence when um, he came up with this. Um, and this happened, it was supposedly happened. And if they had, if this was true and they had done this, which they didn't, um, uh, Jimmy Rogers uh, was um, uh, arrested, I guess, and, and, and this started in 1980. And if he had that information that they had done this, and he was a good at snitching and getting a better deal. Why didn't he use that at that time? And he wouldn't have been 
in there serving the life sentence. And yeah. he woke up what he was convicted for. They just wiped all that out. He done just a few years. And he's been out for I don't know how long. So he's a free man now. Oh, yeah. He's been a free man for I don't know how long now. Yeah. Um, Has he stayed out of trouble then, I suppose, since he's still free? Uh, I haven't heard of anything he's uh, yeah. gotten into, but see, he's up in age. Yeah. Um, um, so, it, uh, I, no. mean, I mean, anything George Gates done, he has set him there as an innocent person all these years. He has more than paid his debt to society as far as I can see. Yeah. I think it says a lot that you and your siblings have always been of the conviction that George was not guilty of your father's Yeah, and murder. we had never heard of him, never saw him, didn't know a thing about him, and, and uh, uh, we didn't know anything about him until he was out of prison. Yeah. And I It's a terrible injustice. I mean, there's uh, one corruption after another in this case. If, if, if when something happens, uh, uh, my stepmother never once um, sit down and talk to us, and we asked her several times, "Will you come out and sit down and talk to us?" Uh, and if you ask her anything, she would. Um, See, uh, she gave you real quick, and she see uh, lots of times she see, "What are you asking?" Yeah. And, and and I mean, all those things mean something. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 so she's got a lot of secrets, in other words. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Yeah. It's what I was told. A 
Sheila, I really do thank you for talking to me, and I, I, I hope this, you know, helps somehow to get word out and bring it out. I don't know if it will, but I, I, I'm willing to try, okay? Oh, okay, I appreciate that. It seems like so many people are interested, and they go so far, and then they disappear. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, usually they want revenge and they say, kill that sucker. And you and your siblings said, no, he's an innocent, you know, he didn't do this. So that says a lot to me right there. I think that's the main thing that got me thinking, well, he probably didn't do this. If the family of the victim, you know, is pleading for him. Uh, so that's a big thing, I think. So. I would like to see justice done for your dad and for your uh, and for George. So, uh, yeah, and I, I would too. Yeah, and I hate to take more of your time, so I'll I'll let you go unless you got something else you want to say. No, I can't. Uh, I can't think of anything okay. else right now. I will when I get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Uh, uh, thank, okay. thank you uh, thank very, you very much. much. All right. Well, thank you, and you have a blessed day. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, that was an interesting conversation with Sheila, the daughter of Arthur Smith, who was murdered in 1979. And, you know, since George Gates was framed for this murder, you know, that means that whoever killed or ever how many people were killed or excuse me whoever killed arthur smith you know is still out there if they're still alive so um even though the state of ohio considers it a closed case it's far as i'm concerned and far as the people that really believe that george is not guilty of this you know it's it remains open and hopefully something good to We'll come out of it and who knows but i really do appreciate sheila for coming on she's a sweet lady uh i think she's in her 80s so it was asking a lot of her to get her to talk and i really thank her so thanks to everybody for watching thanks for tuning in to friday night conversations this is a special edition it may be released before friday night i'm not sure but anyway, thank you for watching, and God bless, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.